Hello everyone, I hope you're well and safe out there and you haven't lost too much of your lives to Elden Ring. I'm nearly 50 hours in already, so this video very nearly ended up being later than expected. We have two giveaways from this bundle, so stick around to the end to hear how you can win them. First up this month is Ghost Runner. I've heard Ghost Runner described as a hardcore first person slasher. It's a cool looking cyberpunk game where you have to move and fight enemies without getting one shotted. You need fast reactions to get through, so obviously I hate it. I literally can't get past this first stage. I could pour the time in to get good, but I'm deep into Elden Ring at the moment. Still, if you have the reflexes and you want to be a cyberpunk robot ninja, then this game is absolutely for you. For me, I'm far, far too lazy and want something more relaxed. Destroy All Humans is a remake of the 2005 game of the same name, featuring voice acting you may recognise if you're a fan of Invader Zim. You play Cryptosporidium-137, a member of an alien race that reproduces via cloning. You have to invade Earth to locate the pure source of your species' DNA and, of course, destroy all humans. Lots of fun and a really great quality remake. This is one of the two games I already have this month, so I'll be giving it away. The details of that are at the end of the video. Monster Sanctuary seems kind of familiar. It's sort of Pokemon-y, you fight monsters and do barely basic platforming. It's not for me, but loads of people like these games. It's the second game I already have, so stick around to find out how you can win it. Kill Squad seems to be an action shoot 'em up with nods to Alien Breed and similar games. You land on a planet and murder everything on the way towards a boss. It's pretty fun and worth checking out. Rogue Heroes is a top down retro themed roguelite with more than a few nods to Zelda. It looks very nice and it has some decent puzzles and the gameplay is good. Here I am getting almost brutally murdered because I forgot I have a shield. Really great and I'll be sure to play it some more once I get myself away from Elden Ring. Caesarian claims to be a political strategy game but it feels more like a visual novel or a choose your own adventure book than a game. As the whole game is text based it's essentially a narrative driven visual novel. There's no save feature as such so if you make a poor choice you can't go back which means you have to go through clicking all the options again from the start if you mess up. I'm not the target audience for visual novels though this one has put a lot more work into it than most. And I apologise if any of the developers of this game take umbrage to me referring to it as a visual novel instead of a uh, political strategy. Chicken Police is a cute point and click adventure where you play a chicken detective four months away from retirement. You get to meet a variety of anthropomorphic characters, question suspects and unravel mysteries. It looks good, it's well animated, there's a nice soundtrack and great voice acting. I do love point and click adventures so it's a nice addition this month. And finally, Naruto to Boruto. I hope I pronounced that right. Not bad, one for the fans of weeb fighting games. You've got missions, superpowers, and wiggly, spiky hair. Definitely one for the anime fans. So that's it, pretty quick one this month. I like Destroy All Humans, which I haven't played for 15 years, so I might play through it again. Chicken Police and Rogue Heroes. The rest didn't really gel with me, I'm afraid. To win Destroy All Humans or Monster Sanctuary, subscribe and leave a comment saying which game you'd like to win. And for a second chance to win, retweet the post for this video on Twitter. I'll pick two winners next week from all of the entries, and I'll post both here and on Twitter with the winner information. Thanks a lot. I hope to start making videos a bit more frequently now, which obviously means I probably won't. Um, but if I do, I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, and like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff, please. <laughs>